This is your election command center. The new patriotic party has accused the opposition National Democratic Congress of plotting to rig the December polls. National organizer of the party said attempts by the NDC to disrupt the electoral process will be resisted. There's more in the following report. Hours after the opposition, the National Democratic Congress leveled accusations against the ruling New Patriotic Party of planning to rig the 2024 elections. NPP's national organizer, Henry Nenabuache, has fired back. He described the allegations as laughable, dismissing them as a desperate attempt by the NDC to stoke fear ahead of the polls. According to him, the NPP will secure victory in 2024, not through underhand tactics, but on the strength of its superior track record. It's quite funny. We will win these elections with our superior track record, nothing more, nothing less. The allegations made by the National Communication Officer and the NDC are entirely baseless and represent yet another desperate attempt by the NDC to raise tension. The NPP national organizer did not stop there. In a sharp counterclaim, Henry Nenabwachi alleged that it is rather the NDC that is orchestrating plans to destabilize the electoral process. He accused the opposition of training facts and forming vigilante groups to create chaos, particularly in the Ashanti region. The NDC has been training thugs under the guise of private security training. These individuals are being prepared to disrupt electoral process particularly in Ashanti region. We have also discovered plans by the NDC to use ambulances to transport weapons to these tax on elections day. He alleged that the NDC strategy involves heightening insecurity in MPP strongholds like the Ashanti region by orchestrating a surge in robberies and kidnappings. Some NDC members, led by a retired commissioner of police, Nathan Kofi Bwache, are coordinating efforts to escalate insecurity in Ashanti region and other MPP strongholds. This plan includes engaging armed robbers and other criminal elements to increase cases of robbery and kidnapping. Calling on the Inspector General of Police to ensure peace, he warned that any attempts to disrupt the electoral process will be met with a forceful response from the NPP. Any individual who attempts to foment chaos, especially in the Ascension region, should think twice, as such actions will be met not equal force, but with much bigger force. Flag bearer of the NPP, Dr. Mahamud Baumia, has concluded his 15 day tour of the Ashanti region with a call on the electorate and the people of the region to vote for him for massive development. Dr. Baumia says, under his presidency, agriculture, railway development, soft loans for women, and living wages for chiefs, sub chiefs, and queen mothers, among others, will be his focus. Dr. Mohamedou Baumia began his Ashanti region tour on the 3rd of November 2024 to canvass votes in the NPP stronghold. He visited constituencies such as Kwabre East and West, Mensha South, Asawase and Mensha North. Other constituencies included Asante Achim South and North, Ofenso North, Ahafuano South, East and West, Padaso, Adanse Asokwa and New Edubiase. He also campaigned in constituencies such as Manso Edubia, Manso Nkwanta, Akrofwom, Subing, Idra Setro, Dumase, Kumeu and Setra from Agbera, Dr. Mohamed Dubaomia, in all the constituencies that he campaigned in, promised to roll out agricultural and railway development policies. He spoke about Agenda 111 and other health initiatives if he wants power. Ghana with our Agenda 111. No, yeah. With Agenda 111, Ghana will become a medical tourist destination in the sub region. People will travel to Ghana for medical tourism. <laughs> for, for medical tourism. He also said under his administration, living wages for traditional leaders will be increased. He also emphasized on reducing the cost of electricity. Electricity bill has increased. I am going to introduce new policies to reduce the bill for everyone. Electricity form by 50%. Issues about job creation was also key among the policies of the NPP flag bearer. Skills. The youth also need skills, hence the introduction of technical and vocational institute. I want the youth in Ghana to be trained in digital skills, even school dropout. Digital skills, maybe. 
even school dropouts. You met me at Renewal. He also spoke about a new housing policy. Housing policy. The housing policy will create jobs. That is why it is in our manifesto. Dr. Baumia is set to continue the campaign in the northern region on Thursday. Meanwhile, the presidential candidate of the National Democratic Congress, the NDC, has served notice of investigating Vice President Dr. Mohamed Baumia over his involvement in the PDS scandal. It is alleged that Dr. Baumia changed the $190 million electricity privatization deal uh, from a bank guarantee to insurance guarantee. Ghana lost out on the deal over boardroom wranglings. John Mahama has been going um, hard on this issue in the eastern region where our correspondent Komla Kluche reports. In 2016, the MPP went hard on corruption. They hit hard the NDC and many comprehend it affected their fortune. The president campaigned on corruption using the principle of a nurse. Questions have emerged on commitment in the fight against corruption as Ghana's ranking on the index has fallen a record low. John Mahama conversing for votes in the eastern region will not hold back on what he described as Dr. Baumia naked in corruption. Now, Baumia has a PDS scandal by America for my 190 million dollars. See, I'm going to talk meet her and Bobo and then be I will gonna her. Yes, 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 you can ask him. Yes, wow, baby, yes, a human for bank guarantee. Ba. But I'm going to say, I trust you, yes, a bank guarantee and you know, insurance guarantee. Young has a yeti recording. I got your trade that home any president near Bumpty or more casa also. Send a bay on Betcher Sanfas or no. Young Nayeti and so she in see ye and so media maca. Sa PDS as em no. Send your mea dom, meaning so bay adom so. Na and this bar. Ye bet you shim. There's a further commitment from John Mahama. Ain't ye and this bar. Ya can say ye been your chief justice. Na what take courts are a year auditor general court. On the third day of his campaign in the eastern region, John Mahama campaigned in the New Jobe North, Ebuakwa North, Fantiakwa North and South, Etiwa West and East. The former national chairman, Samuel Ofosu Ampofo, says the prospects are great for the NDC in the region. And so any soldier who thinks that we will be threatened that when we finish voting, go and sleep. NDC supporters, don't go and sleep. After voting, remain vigilant and watch until every vote is counted and results are declared and John Mahama is declared as the president of the Republic of Ghana. Let's go to the central region where armed policemen stormed the Winneba High Court to arrest an independent candidate who was seeking to injunct the December 7 parliamentary elections for the Futu constituency. The candidate is in court over the leaking of her nomination documents filed with the Electoral Commission. There's more in this report. The independent candidate Louisa Boabain was praying for the Winneba High Court to place an injunction on the upcoming parliamentary elections, citing irregularities on the part of the Electoral Commission. According to the plaintiff's counsel, someone leaked her document to the NPP's parliamentary candidate, who is the incumbent member of parliament, Alexander Afenyo Markin, a few days after filing her nomination. The independent candidate prayed the court to injunct the parliamentary elections until December 10, 2024. But the court citing the possible denial of representation in parliament for the Ifutu constituent denied the application. I came in to make some, some legal points which the court agreed with me. And so that preliminary legal objection was not upheld. And so, but then the court went ahead to determine the motion for injunction on its merits. But then, in the end, the court did not grant the motion for injunction. But we are seeking for other appropriate measures and other means to seek for any redress in this matter. Drama, however, unfolded at the court's premises as armed policemen stormed the court right after the hearing, attempting to arrest the independent parliamentary candidate, Louisa Boabeng. I looked at the petition that was presented by the person, the alleged petition which led to 
their invite. And clearly, when I saw the petition, I was like, this is just a petition based on mere suspicion. Elsewhere, the People's National Convention Party, the PNC, says it is open for talks with any political party that wishes to partner them ahead of the December 7 general elections. At the functional executive committee meeting in Accra, the national chairman of the party, Samson Asaki Awengobet, announced that the party would on Monday, November 25, meet to conclude on which of the political parties to declare their support for. The decision to declare support for other political parties follows the High Court's refusal to overturn the ruling of the Electoral Commission disqualifying their flag bearer. The PNC, as the whole Ghana is aware, were disqualified by the EC. We went to court and we've lost our case at the High Court. We met aspect and the leader appealed to continue the case at Supreme, as we speak, the case at Supreme court. However, the national executives think that there is a need for us to discuss and take position or take decision for and on behalf of the party so far as 2024 general election is concerned. Barely three weeks to December 7, the functional executive committee of the party is, however, inviting suitable political parties for a possible partnership. National chairman of the PNC underscore the strength of the party.